Hi everybody, in this video, I want to show you three different ways on how you can leverage Genitive AI for conducting customer interviews. So before we go into the Genitive AI part, let me briefly explain what I exactly mean with customer interviews. So when we want to develop a new venture, a new startup, it's very important that we understand in depth the problem that we want to solve. So that means we need to understand what is the pain point of our potential customers and how will we be able to solve it? And that's why we want to do interviews to get a deep understanding of the pain point and how potential customers experience this pain point. And here we rely on a specific approach that was described in the book, The Mom Test of Rob Fitzpatrick, where we want to kind of ask very factual questions on what was the hardest part about the pain point, when did customers experience hit and how have they tried to deal with that. And of course, it's always difficult to find people to do interviews. It's time consuming. You actually need to build some experience in doing a good interview. So today we will actually leverage Genitive AI to help us in conducting what we call synthetic interviews. So we will not do real interviews with people, but we will use leverage Genitive AI to simulate customer interviews. And the first way to do that is to leverage ChatGPT and simply do some prompting. So let me briefly explain how that works. So I will go to my prompt here that I have developed. So this is a prompt that can kind of trigger an interview. So here I give ChatGPT a certain identity. So I'm saying, look, you're a family of two adults and two children who are living in a rented apartment. I'm a startup founder who wants to develop a new business to address the topic of monitoring and paying energy bills. Yeah, so in this case, we want to solve the pain point of monitoring and paying energy bills. I want to engage in a customer interview with you to explore pain points regarding this topic. We want the output in a conversational style. And then I ask my first question. And then you will see if I run this prompt, indeed, ChatGPT immediately starts engaging in an interview with me, where not only the adults are part of the interview, but even the children will give some feedback and then I can start asking a follow-up question and you will see the interview continues and then I can ask another question. So in that way, I can really engage in an interview as you would do with a real person. So this is definitely a first interesting approach to apply. Another approach to make it even more kind of realistic is to use the voice mode that you can now use in uh, the voice mode of ChatGPT. So let me try to do that. Um, so I will start now a new chat here. Um, so I can enable the voice mode here, and then I can again make my prompt, and then we can engage in a conversation. So I will briefly do that now with the prompt that I generated before. So instead of writing the prompt, I will speak the prompt, and then I can start this conversation. So let me briefly try that. It might take some time to initiate, but then I will kick it off. So now we have to briefly wait. Got it. Let me know when you're ready to continue. You are a family of two adults and two children who are living in a rented apartment in a large city. I'm a startup founder who wants to develop a new business to address the topic of monitoring and paying energy bills. I want to engage in a customer interview with you to explore pain points regarding paying energy bills. You will be the customer, I will be the interviewer. Here is my first question. What is for you the hardest part about paying energy bills? The toughest part about paying energy bills for us is definitely the inconsistency. Our bill seems to fluctuate a lot from month to month, and it can be hard to predict how much we'll owe. This makes it challenging to manage our monthly budget since we never really know how much to set aside for energy costs. Why is it exactly so hard to predict? It's hard to predict because our energy usage depends on many factors. For instance, changes in the weather can lead to higher heating or cooling needs. So as you can see in this way, you can easily engage in a real interview with a customer that kind of simulates as close as possible reality. And then the nice thing is that in ChatGPT, you will also have the transcript of your interview to then analyze the interview. So that's really helpful. 
So that's really a second approach that you can use. And a third approach that I want to share with you is a more sophisticated approach. Namely, we can also start building applications to do interviews using AI agents. So in this case, I have developed a web application. You will find the link in the description of this uh, movie to uh, actually use this uh, tool. And so this tool, after you have given some inputs, actually the tool will generate questions for the interview, then it will execute the actual interview, and finally it will also analyze the interview. So let me first show you how it works, and then um, we can go a bit deeper into the details. So let me activate the application. So this is a streamlit application that is publicly available. Now to do, use this, you will need to have what is called a CROC API key. And you can easily get that by going to um, the console uh, site from croc.com. Yeah, then you need to create a username and password, and then you can create an API key. So that means then you can get a bunch of numbers, like a kind of long password, and that's what you need to enter into the web application. Now, this is completely free. You also don't have to give a credit card or something. You just have to create this API key on the website, and then you can use the application. So let me briefly show you how that application works. So let me go back to the application. So we have to copy paste the key. So now I will use my key. Then we need to describe what is the pain point that you want to explore. So in this case, again, uh, we can write uh, we, uh, paying and monitoring energy bills is the pain point. Then who uh, we want to interview. So we could again use family with two kids living in a rented apartment in Germany. And if you have done interviews before, you could even already add some learnings from prior interviews. Now, now it's the first interview, so we will not do that. And then I can just click on start interview. You will see that the app starts running. So now we have to briefly wait for the results to emerge. So now let's briefly wait. Should not take immensely long for generating some output. Now, so in, at this moment, the agents are running. Now they are ready. And so what did they produce for us? First of all, the first agent has generated a number of questions. Yeah, so you will see here that the first agent has developed like 18, 19, 20 questions. Subsequently, a second agent is actually doing the interview and has generated here a transcript of the interview. So now we receive the full transcript that we could read and analyze. And then finally, we have a third agent that already has kind of analyzed the key learnings of the interview. So here we actually see some key learnings from the interview that the third agent has analyzed. So this is a tool that you can use. The only thing you need is this CROC API key. And then you can start doing, as you can see very quickly, a lot of interviews and learn from them. Um, sim briefly, how does that work in the kind of the back end so that you understand it? So in the end, as mentioned, I have created here three different agents, a question generator agent, an interviewer agent, and an analyzer agent. And these agents work together as a team where I've used the crew AI library in Python to create this application. Now, this is the back end. That's the technical part. But so you can simply use use this application if you want to really do a lot of synthetic customer interviews in a short amount of time. So these were the three approaches that I wanted to share. I hope this can help you to really leverage generative AI for customer interviews. And I wish you a lot of fun with doing this kind of interviews. Thanks a lot.